Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and you're looking at the container. I'm going to put some prism pour from Color Art in, some Chantilly lace to be exact, to try and compile a bunch of colors that I may or may not, probably will, shovel out with my small plastic spatch, uh, my child's sand shovel from the dollar store. So let's put that away. And I gotta start somewhere, so I'm gonna start with my favorite blue grotto. And some sea glass. These are frosted sorbets. I'm not sure how much I can get in there. Mermaid Scales is not part of the frosted sorbets, but it's certainly in that same family and it's a gorgeous color, so. And it is also a primary element. I'm going to throw in some Indian Spice, which is the bonus color that comes with the frosted sorbets, the, prism, the primary elements. I have a little bit of um, Mayan gold left over from holding back. This is some Interference Violet. Which might add a nice aspect. This is some Tiger Lily. I've ever tried to add all the colors. This is Bashful Blue. I may go back again and add something else. This is Pink Chiffon, which I'm not sure belongs in this, but I'm going for it anyway. This is Blue Ice. I think I'm going to go outside my general category and put some midnight shadow in there just so I have a darker element. Although I can use cell activator. To hopefully add a darker element. This is Tango Pink. I don't think I can have too much of that. I've got Interference Blue. I love this icy iris. These are great colors. Such great colors. This is Moonbeams. I have a little tiny bit. I have a scrape dish with a little bit of leftover paint. This is Plum Blossom, which I save for last because I love it. I think I love all these colors. I have a few other colors. Cherry Sorbet is, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm going to sneak in a little bit of passion, which is not part of the Frosted Sorbets collection, but I love it anyway, so. And then, if any luck at all, I don't have any dark purple in there, but I could always change my mind and add some. Let's get most of these out of the way for the, moment, for the moment. Oh, did I put any ginger peach in there? I don't think I did. That's a primary element also. And if I didn't, I am now. I thought about putting some orange in. Some orange crush to be specific, but I didn't get that far. I can always change my mind. I'm going to add a little bit, because that's what I've got left of the Mayan gold. It's going to take me a minute or two, at least, to get this canvas ready to go. So I'm going to put the lid back on this Mayan gold. Move that down out of the way. Bring my 10 by 20 inch canvas in. I'm going to unscrew the top of this because I'm going to pour a puddle on the bottom and hope that I'm right, that I can spin it out. But in the meantime, I want a layer of paint to go all the way across the top. It might be a weird... 
It might be a good experiment. That's what it is. It's a good experiment. Hopefully I got enough on to put a layer on there. I think I am going to use my shovel. I might also dribble my leftovers first, which are some tricorn black from Sherwin-Williams added to whatever was there on some PPG speed hide, which is what this is also. And I want to add some more, but I don't think... I wish I'd used a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about my edges right now, because we'll see what happens after after the spin. I'll try and get that to be equidistant on both sides. Throw that spatula, Oxo omelet turning, flip and fold, best paint spreading tool I know of, spatula into the bucket. Oh, I put my paint colors on an unlevel surface. Now I have to remember to actually put the puddle down. I did add 25, 20, 25 percent, probably closer to 20 percent. GAC 800 from Golden, which I have gotten away with so far, seemingly. Hopefully that will be enough paint, and I'm going to move this around some after I wipe my hand off a little bit by tilting. I'd like to fill that corner in without going over. I do see a couple of bubbles, and I could hit it really fast with a torch. Got it almost where I want it. I could grab another spatula and make sure it's where I want it. I turned my spatula over because I wanted to use the same side of the blade twice. Spatula will also help you get rid of bubbles, in case you need to know that. That one's going in the bucket as well. Okay, so here goes nothing. Wait. <laughs> I need my Princeton Artel Cattle Spatula available on my Amazon link. along with my two books and anything else you might want on four different lists of supplies and paint, cameras, tents, you name it, it's there. Lots of paint. Canvases too. Okay, so I got rid of my leftovers, which probably won't make a darn bit of difference. But it does inspire me to add some of the tricorn black from Sherwin-Williams. Might not make any difference at all, but I am going to swipe, and it's time to get busy doing that. Okay, so I haven't done anything exactly like this before. Although I have shoveled plenty of colors in my time. I've never used this dish before. First time for everything. Great colors. And I think that Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula is going to come back into play. Good thing I have more than one. Because this is a ceramic dish. I thought about putting the, um, the press and seal into it. If I were more careful, I could probably not swipe and just put colors down, and that would be fun because I've done that before. I love doing dribble paintings, but that's not what this experiment is about. I did kind of want some negative space. I'm not sure if that's going to be something that I accomplish or not. I'm going to throw that <coughs> excuse me, in the bucket also. And I've got beautiful colors still in my shovel. 
I don't have to waste those either. Hopefully I'm being fast enough so we'll get to finish this. That would be lovely. Most of everything on the bottom of the canvas in theory should probably disappear. I'm going to use some Amsterdam white to start with on my spatula. Some Atelier black. Last time I did this I really enjoyed using some Pebeo iridescent blue-green. Nowadays, recently I've been using the Atelier. This is Atelier Turquoise. And it's unfortunately seized up on me. There we go. I got some. And being piggy, I still want some Atelier Rich Gold. That's a lot of paint. I think I'm about to make a really big mess. <laughs> That's what I think. That uh, spatula is going in the bucket. Quickly rinse my fingers off. Find my studio rag. Hope we continue to see cells develop. I am looking for one of my straws. I am contemplating using another palette knife and doing the second end because it's worked for me before now. So this time I'm just going to use the Atelier Black and the gold in a different order. Maybe more of the uh, Pebeo Iridescent Blue Violet. Have another Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I often think about using my little acetate tools that I make to um, go back in and see what I can do. And I may do that. I'm really thinking about it. Way too much pain, I think. But we're having fun, and I'm not hating on what I've got. So I guess we're just going to have to go with the flow, pun intended. I'm going to wipe the bottom of that off. use the balled up end. I do have a fair amount of gray. I'm kind of surprised. Cells will often keep developing, and I have seen people dump paint before, and I'm really contemplating whether I might want to do that or not. I've got a perfect place to do it, too. I've got inside of a dog food bag. I might want to put that in a dish and use it. That was pretty cool. 
It's not really what I was originally expecting to do, but got to go with the flow. Just going to wipe off the bottom. See what I've got. Where's my scrape dish? Did I put it in the... Yeah, I probably put it in the water already. Okay, well, I'm going to pull my paint over to a more lo level surface. Grab the white out of the way. Look and see what I might have. Oh, I've got beautiful cells. I never... I never feel bad about stealing some paint. I suppose it could be a first time for everything. <laughs> I've got three minutes left to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. This is really cool. I'm not sure how it's going to go the next time I try it since it was kind of an accident that I got so much paint on there. And I still need to spin, although I'd really like to not. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think I can hurt anything as far as that paint goes. But I'm going to put in a scrape dish shortly. I think this right here needs a little tiny spiral. And I'm going to check any bubbles and use a sharp tip of a skewer or something. Sometimes I use my tweezers. I'm really glad I tipped that. I don't think I've ever done a 10 by 20 before, so this is interesting. I want to be able to stop that. I should have put it... If you put the painting in a perfect position, like crossways then you have the long handles on that side to go. I'm going to take my take my skewer and use the white paint hopefully. to just make a flower out of that. I really could spin out. I've got a line of demarcation. It's heavy, but one more spin and I'm going to call it good because I know the GAC 800 will rescue me. There we go. So I'm going to quick like a bunny try and get down there and shimmer that at you, even though it's looking a little on the gray side. It's still beautiful. And I definitely have a desire to grab some of this paint here. And add. One more area. All right, my time is up. <laughs> That's too bad. Actually, I think I have one minute left to shimmer that at you. And I suppose it could be a stage one. I could probably embellish this and be pretty happy about it. I'm not sure how much of this I can show you, but at least the most colorful part is in the center. We have some really cool cells. We've got some beautiful shimmer. I'm sure those interferences are going to be awesome. I do want to pull this out. I'm not ruining anything. I 
All right. Wow. <laughs> We're way out of square. 